Hey everybody, today's question of the day is one on a philosophical note. And that is, if I told you that you were going to die in exactly one month, how would you spend that month? Personally, I think I would do something like so ridiculous, just because I know that nothing can kill me until then. But um, I just have a lot of fun, and here's the skit. Oh my god, he's alive? <laughs> Guess you'll have to wait till next week. And um here's a battle with Matt Light. And um this was this was early December, um, when I actually recorded this. And this is before I got any Diamond and Pearl moves, before I even got my new size orb, but um Um it's a pretty epic match actually, because it, it takes a while and a lot of good predictions on both sides. So I lead with Aerodactyl, he leads with Choice Scarf Jirachi as he ironheads me. And he gets the flinch axe, and I guess there's a 60% chance or something like that happening, but it's still gay. <laughs> so um, he hits the only Lucario now, because that's what I switch into. And I take the opportunity to Swords Dance. I'm thinking that he'll Dragon Dance, and I'm thinking Extreme Speed should be a 2 hit KO, but I'm wrong. Um, so Lucario is going to go down pretty much just to get the Gyarados as low as possible. And it's really my best play after going for the extreme speed once, is to extreme speed again, and that's what I do, and he waterfalls, and I'm off to a pretty bad start, as you can see. So um, I'm going to go out into Aerodactyl again, just because I know Aerodactyl can still outrun Gyarados, even after that uh, one Dragon Dance. And maybe he doesn't know this, or maybe he doesn't care, because he just stays in... I guess trying to kill me as I um, Stone Edge, and that kills the Gyarados. So he goes back into Jirachi, and I don't want to lose Aerodactyl just yet. I just want an opportunity to set up Stealth Rocks with it, maybe. So I go into Celebi, just pretty much take whatever <coughs> Jirachi can throw at me. And um, he Body Slams, and he does get the Parahax, but then again, it does have quite a high chance with uh, Serene Grace. But, um... I set up the Leech Sheet on the Switch, because I think he's going to switch out, because Body Slam doesn't do a whole lot to Celebi. And he goes out into Flygon, so I'm going to go out into Gyarados, knowing that Flygon can't do a whole lot to Gyarados. And he U-turns, which makes me suspect this is a Choice Scarf um, Flygon, and I'm actually right in that assumption at this point. And he goes into Porygon 2, and Porygon 2's really hurt Gyarados. Um, Gyarados really can't do anything to them because of that um, Trace ability. So, I go out on Electivire, expecting the Thunderbolt, but um, he actually doesn't use it and switched out on the Flygon, so that kind of sucks. So, I go back into Gyarados, knowing that Flygon can't do anything, and he tries Earthquake, so it's a pretty good play on my part. And I'm thinking about what to do. I don't know if he's going to switch back into Porygon, and he doesn't. He actually switches into Jirachi, and... Um, he's still faster at this point, obviously, and he, he goes with a trick, so now I have the Choice Scarf, and I locked on Choice Scarf. And I know he's probably going to switch into the Porygon now, but I really don't have anything to do if he does. So I just decided to go for the Waterfall, just because I know it'll get some damage on the Porygon. And as you can see, this Porygon is heavily defensive EV'd, because that did almost nothing. And that that's a normal power... Waterfall, too, because of the Dragon Dance. So I go in Electivire, hoping he goes for the Thunderbolt, but he goes for the Ice Beam. I'm starting to think he doesn't have it. He doesn't hold the Thunderbolt. I'm not really sure. But now he goes out into Jirachi again. And I go for the Cross Chop, and it doesn't quite KO the Jirachi, and that's annoying. But I know that he doesn't have the Choice Scarf anymore, so I decide to go for the Earthquake. He still outspeeds me and uh, sets up the Stealth Rocks, and that kind of sucks because that means Aerodactyl can't switch in safely anymore. And pretty much, I'm going to have to play this game out without Stealth Rocks. So now I go out in Aerodactyl just to see what he does, see what he locks himself into, and he locks himself into U-Turn, so that makes me feel safe about sending in Heat Ran, because Heat Ran resists the U-Turn quite nicely. So, I'm thinking about what to do, and I know that if you switch in Porygon, he'll get Flash Fire, but I decided to go with a Fire Blast anyway. Just, I, I don't think he'll he'll switch into the uh, Porygon. I just don't think he will. And he thinks about what he wants to do for a while. And um, maybe he's running a speed calculation to see who's faster. 
and he actually just switched out to Porygon. He doesn't use the U-turn again. And um, I try to go for the Fire Blast. Thankfully, it misses. But I, I guess it really doesn't matter, because Porygon doesn't have um, um, a Fire move anyway. But it's just nice that it misses, I guess. So he goes for the Ice Beam, and um, I switch into Celebi. So it was a nice prediction on his part. But um, Celebi still doesn't take that much from it. Porygon 2 really isn't that great of an attacker, because like I said before, this um, Porygon 2 is defensively um, natured and EV'd. So he goes with the um, Ice Beam again, and I really hate Porygon 2. When, when I built my other... Like, I, I actually built a um, another team, another main team you guys haven't seen yet, and um, I, I took... Porygon 2 into account, because Porygon 2 is getting more and more popular in Shoddy. I see it a lot, actually. But anyway, I use Leech Sheet, and he switches in Scizor. And, um... I know that this is probably a Sword Dance Scizor, so I go into Gyarados, knowing that Gyarados really can't be hurt by the Scizors at all. And he goes with the Brick Break, I guess predicting the switch into Heat Ran. But I don't give that to him. Gyarados is a safer switch against Scizor. So, um, he goes back into Porygon like a gay, and I decide to go for the Waterfall, and it does some damage to Porygon, and that's whatever. And, um, I decide, eventually, to go into Heatran. I was thinking that the Ice Beam was coming, but he decides to switch out into Flygon. And here I make a really stupid play. I decide to stay in, and I, I knew it was Choice Scarfed, but I decide to stay in and, um predict the switch, but, um, he predicted that and one Earthquake, and I lost my Heat Ran. Great prediction, Matt Light. That was annoying. So, um, I go back into Celebi, knowing that he's locked into, um, Earthquake, and I set up the Leech Eat again on the Sizor. And, um, I don't have Heat Ran anymore, but I know Sizors usually don't carry anything that can hurt Gyarados at all, so I decide to just go into Gyarados. I mean, it is really a safe switch. So I go back into Gyarados, my now choice scarf Gyarados, mind you, and um, I get the Intimidate, he gets the Swords Dance, and um, I'm just going to go for the Waterfall, and um, if he switches out into Porygon 2, I mean, it's really whatever at this point, but um, he doesn't, he decides to stay in, gets the other Swords Dance, and now he's at plus 3 attack. And I don't believe he can kill me with a, bu a um, resisted bullet punch, and I'm right. He actually takes that quite well, and I finish it off with Waterfall, which is awesome. And what else is he going to do but switch back into that annoying Porygon 2? And um, I really know I have to get this thing low enough so something else can finish it off. So I decide to stay in a Waterfall, hope for like some really gay series of flinch hacks or something like that. And, um, I, I know he has the Recover, and he does use it, and, um, that's rather lame. I kind of wanted him to just finish me off when he had yellow health. But I'm going to stick with the, um, Waterfall, hoping that I can get a Flinch Hacks or two, so, um, I can at least leave the Porygon 2 damaged. And I do get a Flinch Hacks there, and that's pretty nice. And I go with the Waterfall again, and I don't get it that time. He uses a Hidden Power or whatever and kills me. And that's sad. I really don't know what hidden power that is. I kind of want to know now, but um, oh well. Maybe it's hidden power grass. That would be my guess. But um, as you can see, I switch back to an Electivire. I try to predict the switch into um, Flygon and Ice Punch, but he, but um, he doesn't fall for it. I do uh, it. He gets the Freeze Hacks on the Ice Beam, and that's really bad because Electivire does have Cross Chop, and that would have done a lot of damage to Porygon too. Pro definitely a two hit KO, but um. That sucks. The freeze hacks really hurt there. So I go back in the celeb, and um, this is my last poke. And I know if I'm going to win this, I have to get a whole bunch of calm minds up. And um, if I get a whole bunch of calm minds up, I know I can hurt the Porygon too. I know I, I know that the um, Flygon isn't powerful enough to kill me with U-turn. So I'm. That's my only hope really is to um, get a whole bunch of calm minds. So, I'm going for the Celebi Sweep here, but, um... <sighs> Hacks really isn't in my favor today. He goes in Tyranitar. And at first I'm like, crap, this thing's gonna sweep me, because it's a physical Tyranitar. But it's actually a Tyranoboa, which is, um... If you don't know, that's a special Tyranitar. And he tries to Dark Pulse me. And, um, I missed the first Leech Sheet, and that's, that's the first part of Hacks that led to my demise. And, as you can see, 
Um, the Dark Pulse does pretty much minuscule damage to me when he finally uses it. He's just thinking. I, I think he's calculating who's faster. See if he wants to set up a sub or not. But, um, the, I, like, seeing how much Dark Pulse did after the Calm Mind, um, it really doesn't do a whole lot. I know, I know I could stall it and wall it and win against the Tyranitar, but he's going to get a crit on the second Dark Pulse, but, um, that gives him the win. So, great game, Matt Light. Um, despite the hacks, epic. Rate, comment, subscribe, guys.